Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart form PDF, how to send smart form PDF as an email attachment and as a part of that, we finished with our first nine steps. Now we will cover the 10th and 11th step and what is 10th step? Now we need to simply send because ultimately at the last you are clicking on to which button send button so we will go for send now i will go for send now cl underscore bcs in this particular class itself we have a method and name of the method is send if you will see send send document and it is which method instance method so yes we will call this method through the object so i will go to pattern a back object patterns same to same object same to same class now we need to use the method send so i will go to f4 help and I will use the method send. I will go for OK. I will uncomment this try block. I will uncomment this catch block. Now, I called this method send through the object. Now, it is returning the result. We will see the type of the result. If you will see the type of the result, you can see result type is of what boolean and it is clearly saying it is a flag which indicates that document was sent successfully or not. If this variable, if this result is returning true, it means yes, mail has been sent successfully. If this particular variable, this particular result is returning false, it means the mail has not sent successfully. And you all know very well, Boolean true means the value is capital X. If we are saying false, value means what it is equal to space. So what we will do, I will simply, simply write one variable in front of result. Suppose I am saying LV underscore result. Now what will be the type of LV underscore result? It will be same as that of result. How you can check the type of result? Result is of this type. So I will simply copy and I will declare in the program LV underscore result type. I will simply OS underscore boolean. You can check the type also. OS underscore boolean is a data element which has a domain of character one, domain of character one itself. And you can clearly say X means true, space means false. So if we are getting the true result, if we are getting the value capital X, it means the mail has been sent successfully. Now we will go for the last step. At the last, we need to commit the work. Commit means we need to save the work. Now, important point here. Commit is only required when you want to send the mail to external users. If you want to send the mail to the user which is outside SAP, you need to commit the work. If you are sending the mail within SAP itself, 
then it's not required at all. But yes, ultimately, our always 99.99% .99 requirements to send the email to external email addresses. So we are always going for commit work. If you are sending the mail within SAP itself, then there's no need for you to use the commit work. It's optional itself. But now, if you want to send the mail to external users outside SAP, then commit work is mandatory. Mandatory. Now, I will simply write a if condition. If this send process is successful, so what this particular variable will return, it will return capital X. If it is returning capital X, it means what? This variable is not null, is not null, is not blank, is not initial. So we simply, simply go for what? Commit work. Yes, if the mail has sent successfully, only in that case, if the send process is successful, only in that case, we should commit the work. If there is a failure or if some error is there, why we should commit the work then? I will go for syntax check and I will activate. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered last two steps as a part of email sending process. We call the method send. It is returning the result it is returning the boolean result. If it is returning capital X or true, it means yes, the send process is successful. If it is not returning true, if it is returning space means false, it means send process is unsuccessful. Now, commit work is required. This step is this step. This, I'll not say this step, this commit work is required, this statement. This statement is used to save the work. Whenever you are sending the mails to outside SAP, and yes, always maximum time we have this kind of requirement, so we are committing the work. But just if you are sending within SAP, then there's no need to write the commit work. But if you are sending outside SAP, just do the commit one. Now, in next video, we will learn each and everything in that debugging mode. Firstly, we will understand how to send the mail to SAP user. Then we will go for email sending of external user. In the next video, we will cover each and everything in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.